Hi guys, PJ here today with another Destiny 2 guide and this time I'm going over the Shattered Throne Dungeon. Now this one's been out quite a long time, there's a lot of guides about it, but I thought I'd revisit in you know 2023 as it is now and uh, just recap over it as a lot of new players to Destiny 2. So without further ado, as you can see when you spawn in you run straight line, jump over everything, you've got some ads there to take care of. And what you're looking for is a yellow bar uh, boss that basically is called an architect. So you'll have an architect in his name. There he is, you've just seen him briefly there. You can solo this dungeon, you know, if you're pretty good at the game. Or if you're getting on in years like I am, then you might want to have a bit of help with it. But the architect there, once you've got him killed, you're going to go past him and look for a symbol. So there we have the two fish symbol. Now if you've done the raid before for the Dreaming City area, you might know this type of thing. You might not. So once you find the symbol, you've then got to find the corresponding area that matches that symbol. It's normally not hard to find because normally you've got a ton of bad guys in the area. So it's basically look for the bad guys and then find the symbol. So we've got the symbol there upon this sort of plaque, which is the same one as what we were originally shown. So we found the area. That area then gives you another symbol that's uh, lit up and you've got to go and find that and so on and so forth. Some of these can be a little tricky to find, and the very last one is a bit dodgy. But as long as you see the architect in the area, you know you know you've roughly got the right spot to do this. Just keep matching the symbol up. So if you've got a bird, go and find the bird area, kill all the bad guys, etc. etc. Sometimes you'll be doubling back on yourself, going back to other areas, and sometimes it's best to snipe stuff from a very long way away so that when you get there, you're not you know completely overwhelmed with it, especially if you're new to the game. So if you can stay back if you're new to the game and sniper stuff all the better anyway when you finally polished off all the architects and yes as you can see they do drop pretty high level stuff this opens this is the last architect you drop down it's like a, a sort of lift quick jump at the bottom there just to make absolutely sure and one of these four archers is a doorway which obviously you can run through and proceed with the game you can't really get this part wrong it's called the descent and quite literally keep looking for the stairs and work your way down. So, you know, you can't get it wrong. There's any sort of one route. But when you get to this area and you're overlooking like a valley, yeah, with a huge set of steps, if you look down, as you will see, you can actually see a platform. We just go to the right side. There we go. That's where you're aiming to be. And the fastest way to get there, you got it, guys, is jump all the way down. If you're a bit worried about your jumping, you can land on the little ledges above it and make it a sort of tiered effect, but generally speaking, you should be all right jumping all the way down, just landing on the platform and then dealing with any ads that are lying around. Like I say, a sniper rifle would be ideal, or a bow. Some of these uh, enemies are quite a long way away and obviously pack quite a punch. Once the area is sort of clear of any bad guys and you've got a, another yellow named boss, we've got Astron set apart here. Once you've cleared him, you're free to carry on down this sort of long run and through sort of another archway, another doorway. You can't really get it wrong, there's only one way to go on it, it's not difficult. But again, make sure you get the drop or visit the postmaster afterwards because that one does drop something reasonably decent. And then you've got this area. I would advise not rushing in down the center. The reason for that is the snipers down both sides of this and they will pick you off the high up and the low down if you're playing it with somebody else ideally you should take a side each snipe across to each side as you can see that is happening right now where I am stay up on the edge until you get to the very end and you've cleared everybody and then you're free to jump to the middle middle section again there's going to be some ads and some bad guys at the end of this clear all those out before proceeding any further at the end of here, you've got what looks like a doorway, like an arch, but it isn't a doorway, it won't open. Okay, it's a nice little area to sort of go to and hide in while you snipe off some of the enemy from the left and the right, because they are quite high up and they're pretty tricky to get to. If you're a sitting duck, if you're sat in the middle of that platform trying to tackle them. Anyway, we're going to go up this left-hand set of stairs, and there's a big open archway up there, so once you've killed everything off, make your way to the top of this and sort of run straight forwards up the stairs. Eventually you will come to an opening and you'll have some really thin beams to walk along or run along whichever and you'll have some ads trying to snipe you in the distance. I recommend you take those out or get somebody else in your fire team to take them out because they are pretty powerful and can knock you off the beams and cause a bit of a problem. 
Make your way across the beams. There's only sort of one real route to the other side. Once you've got there, you've got a bit of a leap of faith. You jump across to this doorway after killing the ads and jumping across everything. Like I say, you know, you can make it. It looks further than it is. You've then got one of these weird water windows, as I call them, to run through. And you're going to run straight forward. Now, this bit's a little bit different. You'll notice you slowed at the moment and there's an absolute ton of ads. It's actually not worth stopping and shooting these guys because you, you're you going to be shooting them forever. Carry on running. You can't get it wrong. It basically goes straight forward, left, down, and you will eventually come out of it where you slowed into well, sort of normal realms, if you like, and you get to this broken bridge. Okay. Jump over the broken bridge or, you know, steadily take your way over it if you it depends what type of you know character you've got and what jumps you've got but a warlock or such like should be able to jump the whole thing it's not a big deal next up we're going to take a crumbling path to the side obviously you've got to watch you don't fall off now you've got the sort of air push sort of circles that pop out and can shove you off the edge so timing is a bit critical make your way to this doorway though you've got the nice glittery floor there the oil floor or whatever you want to call it jump over it make your way through it as best you want to it's not going to kill you so you know it doesn't really matter if you just run across it to be honest with you just don't sort of dawdle eventually you'll get to a railing overlooking this area jump straight down to the one with the little circle on it and make your way through the corridors after going through quite a few corridors, you're going to find an opening with, yep, another balcony. Now, there's a really big drop on this balcony, and you might want to wait for your fire team if you're doing it with a fire team, because this is a boss battle area, and it can be quite tricky. So, in the middle there, between those two pillars, is, yep, a yellow line boss again, with a shield that is basically invulnerable. You cannot kill him. Nothing happens. Look, he's just immune all the time he has a good hit so try and use uh, any architecture in the way to sort of hide behind the idea is we've got five of these keeper of petitions now there's five of these floating around they've got ads that guard them as well the idea is to kill them all and they will drop you a nice orb yeah you guessed it guys you've got to collect the orb there's a blue one there that you've just seen pick that up and there's some wells that are very near the center sort of dotted in a circle around the center you run up to the wells when you've got the orb you dunk the orb in the well in fact there's one i've just ran past on the left left there and that will give you petitioner's mark now once you've got petitioner's mark times five in other words you've killed all of them you can damage the main boss in the center which is the aim of the thing the main boss in the center's health does go down pretty quickly so the difficult thing is getting all your fire team together to be able to put stuff in the wells and get it done in a decent timely manner it actually can be quite tricky so make sure you brief your fire team if you're doing this for the first time on, on how to do it yeah the boss you can see though is no big deal it does go down pretty quickly when you're all firing at him and you finally dropped your shield Obviously, when this guy goes down, he's going to drop some loot. Your loot is going to be pretty reasonable. When he dies, everybody gets resurrected. You don't need to go and get anybody up. But there you go, you get some loot. And you can move on with your dungeon. When the boss has died, you'll see a light as if a doorway has opened or a wall has opened up. In true traditional fashion, run towards the light because that's where you, your next encounters are going to be. It's pretty much a straight line and it's very scenic as you can see. It's a nice area to uh, have a look round, but I digress. There's a few bad guys in here, not too bad. Just keep going, keep running through until you see some more of the, more, the white airlifts. So you've got quite a lot of airlifts to go on this particular one and exiting the airlifts and just sometimes watch where you're landing when you exit the airlifts because they've got like a thin ringed edge where you land. It's very easy, in fact, I've done it myself, to sort of miss it completely and jump over and end up dying because it's quite a long drop. So just take care on the airlifts. There's a good few of them to do. Make your way across this bit before you get to the first one. You can see it there in the distance. There's a couple of different routes you can go. You can jump across the high route that I've took there or the low route. Take your pick. It doesn't really matter. As long as you get to that centerpiece and then, like I say, watch your landings with the airlifts because yeah they're a bit thin to land on and if you're not too good at your parkour you can quite easily screw this section up and prolong it unfortunately 
In fact, just to note why you're doing all these airlifts, there is some ads, but none of them are serious or high-level yellow bar jobbies. They're not big bosses or anything like that. So they're pretty easy to dispatch. You can dispatch them quickly. Just be aware that sometimes when you come off the lift, you'll be under attack straight away. So time for thought to figure everything out is not really there. As you can see, this room, for example, is absolutely full of ads, but they're all low level, not too difficult. You can hide behind the scenery quite well to give yourself a bit of cover. Just clear them out, keep progressing forward until you get to your end destination. End destination actually looks very similar to a room we've already been in. You're very high up, there's very thin walkways, and yes, you can quite easily die should you fall off. But what we're going to do is walk around the edge of it. Now, there's a lot of these things, these pushers that push you off, so you've got to look at the sequence of timing on them and be very, very careful. Don't just run in a straight line in a rush to try to beat them all. You will get knocked off. We've tried it. You can't just run and hope for the best. It doesn't work. So keep going. Make your way along the, the very edge. Get the hobgoblins out of the way. Get those killed. Sniper them off before you move too near to them. You don't want to be dealing with one of them and being pushed off the wall at the same time. So clear the area and then basically jump across until you come to uh, like an open doorway. So these little platforms, the very last one, has an indent look where you can go in. Now, this area is coming up to your end of dungeon. Okay, so you're going to go up this lift, air lift, whatever you want to call it, light lift. Not quite sure what you'd call them, but anyway, it's a lift. You get up there, you walk across some more of these thin beams, etc. And you go up a couple more and eventually you'll enter a room. Now, the room has got three yellow barred knights and something in the middle. When you walk forward or start shooting them, this will start. Now, these guys are quite tough. My advice is to kill them all at once, okay? So don't concentrate on one, make sure you get all of the health down to a minimal. Kill them all at once, and they will drop orbs. The orbs are a buff to your damage output, so you can do some massive damage to the end boss and obviously get it killed quickly. So finish these off as fast as you can. These can be quite tricky, so you might need to practice this bit a little bit. There's not really many hiding places either, as you will find out. But anyway... The shield will drop and you can go for the big bad boss at the end. If you don't kill him quickly, you'll have a crystal behind him. You've got to kill the crystal off, kill the knights off and rinse and repeat. Egg. Do your DPS, get him killed off and he will drop loot. The only thing is, this dungeon doesn't have Pacific loot, guys. So I can't show you a loot chest with Pacific items for this dungeon because it doesn't do it. It just drops some reasonably high level stuff. Other dungeons, such as the 30th anniversary one, drop Pacific loot that is very, very good. So this one's a little bit of a letdown, but it is good for, well, if nothing else, leveling your Guardian up. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I'll be back showing you all the other dungeons through the course of the next few months. And uh, with a bit of luck, you'll be able to get them done as well. Thanks a lot for watching, and bye for now.